Well, European regulators have their sights set on Google, Amazon, and other American tech firms. The highest court in Europe struck down a transatlantic data pact used by about 4,500 companies. So joining us now to explain what's happening, what this means, is Dan Costa, editor-in-chief at PCMag.com. Dan, great to speak with you today. Thanks for having me. All right, so what exactly is the issue here? So the bottom line is that, the, and this is not a surprise to most people that have been following this space, it's that the European Union takes privacy rights a lot more seriously than the U.S. Here in the U.S., we treat privacy and private data as something that should be regulated by a consumer protection agency. But in Europe, they treat privacy as a constitutional right. And for the last 15 years, the safe harbor uh, agreement has been in place, and U.S. companies have basically been able to use European data the same way they use data in the U.S., and Europe doesn't like that. They want to put some new rules into place, and that's why they declared this agreement uh, invalid. So in light of that fact, how could uh, the pressure from regulators change the way that users, consumers, use the Internet? For example, is this going to change the way international Facebook friends interact with each other? I think in the short term, most companies have agreements set up so that they can sort of maintain the status quo. Users are not going to see a lot of differences. But in the back rooms, the lawyers are really going at it, and they're going to have to negotiate new terms because it's not just the European Union taking out this one agreement. Uh, companies are going to have to renegotiate with potentially all 28 partners in the European Union. There could be local regulations. It really opens up a whole can of worms that uh, companies are going to have to deal with. They may have to create separate data centers that deal with European data separately and differently than U.S. data. This is sounding like it's going to get very expensive very quickly for the companies that operate in Europe. Is this going to affect other sectors uh, other than the tech sector? I mean, we talk about data and privacy, you think tech, but could there be other, could there be other types of companies or industries affected by this? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you look at Amazon and, and Apple and Google and you say, okay, well, those are companies that clearly are buying and selling data. But there's really no company existing today that doesn't use consumer data in some shape or form. Media companies use targeting data. Retail companies use consumer profiles. So all of this could potentially be regulated by local authorities in the European Union. Smaller companies are going to have trouble sort of adapting to all of those laws. We really need to have a new safe harbor agreement that's going to be more comprehensive that can sort of cover all these bases. And what kind of impact is this going to have on international trade? Yeah, it depends how long this goes on and how many new consumer privacy uh, regulations get put into place. Uh, right now, it's a blank slate. Everything's open for negotiation. Um, if we can get to a new agreement, and this has been under negotiation for a very long time, everyone knew the safe harbor agreement had some flaws. Uh, the Europeans were very, not very happy with it. Um, the Europeans and the U.S. government have to get together and nail, out, nail down an agreement that will work for them so that companies can avoid all this litigation and then all the technical problems that come from treating these two data sets differently. Yeah, so certainly a, a big issue that uh, is going to take time, and we're going to have to continue to keep an eye on. Dan Costa, thanks for joining us. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day. Hey, YouTube fans. I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here, and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.